you could speak to him now, what would you say? What? Tom, if he was standing here right now. He's not, though, is he? No, but if he was. What is this? I'm just curious. Look, you might like fantasy, Mr Holland, but round here we prefer reality. But if he was? I'm not in for games, Mr Holland. Just humour me. I'm only interested... How dare you promise me the world and leave me with nothing! You didn't even have to go to Inverness. You only went because we had some stupid argument and you wanted to buy me a new dress to make it up to me. I look like someone that goes in for fancy skirts and hair slides. Because of that, I have to live in this drafty, half-finished house. Trying to be mum and dad to two wee boys. Taking on slimy city types with streaks in their hair. I didn't even get to say goodbye, you selfish little prick. Things are dangerous. Go on, get in. Now. And I suppose you told them they could play in that, did you? No, but they're kids. Now, what would you know about them? I know you treat them like it's their fault their dad died. I am protecting them. No, you're protecting yourself. No, you're not worried if they get hurt. You're just worried that if they do, you will. I only ever let one man speak to me like that, and he's dead. Is that new lodger of yours? Um, this came for you this morning. It must be the bit that you ordered for the bike, eh? Yes. Well, I guess that means that you'll be leaving us soon. No, I mean, there's no reason to stay. No. Good. Uh, I mean, for you. Well, I'll... <laughs> See you in the morning. Uh, Amanda. Mm. I have a tendency to say stupid things sometimes. I, I think there's a medical term for it. No, I needed to hear it. Oh. Is there a Mrs. Holland? No. Oh, that was quick. Um, either you're lying or it's a touchy subject. <laughs> no, it's not a touchy subject. I just don't really see what the big deal is about marriage. Oh. Well, maybe one day, if you're lucky enough, you'll find out. Well, like you and Robert. He would make a good father for the boys. How about lover? Why do you need a man anyway? I mean, really, two people spending the rest of their lives together. Why is that normal? Don't you not believe there's a special someone out there for you? I think there's several special someones out there. Uh-huh. So, on one door closes, another one opens. Who's that, eh? Well, my experience, that door's a tiny smack in the back of the head. Good night. What does that mean? What does what mean? Doors smacking me on the back of the head. I was talking about me. No, you weren't. All right, I'm afraid of being my own and you're afraid of commitment. There, you happy? I'm not afraid of commitment, I'm just... Frightened, terrified, petrified. <laughs> you're undressing. And it's what you do before you get to bed. And what are you doing? Hmm? Oh. Well, maybe I am... Maybe I am afraid of commitment, but... You want to know why? No, but I've got a funny feeling you're going to tell me anyway. Because I'd rather be a slimy city type that's afraid of commitment than turn into this uptight, unemotional pain in the arse that you so clearly delight in being. Have you finished? Yes. Good. Because at least I've been in love, Mr Holland. But then you wouldn't know what that felt like, would you? Not ever having experienced it. Finished? Yes. Good. <laughs>
He had his reasons. Providing for a family, for one thing. <sighs> Should have been me buying him new clothes. Typical Tom. Always apologizing, even when it wasn't his fault. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> The doctor said I should take things easy. I think Darcy on the 40 nights is quite what he had in mind. <laughs> Shit, what the hell's that? Wow. Merry dancers. They say that they appear every time a good man enters heaven. They're kind of pretty, huh? It's gorgeous. Remember you asked me if there was anything I could say to him, what would it be? I think I know what I would say to him now. I tell him I love him and I miss him more than I thought was humanly possible. But you're gone now and I can't bring you back. And there's no point wishing things were different because they never will be. You know, I thought you reminded me of him. It wasn't him that you reminded me of. It was a feeling that I had with him. I never thought that I would feel that again. Amanda, look, um... I know I'm not the man of your dreams, Amanda. Far from it, in fact. But I swear no man will love you more today, tomorrow, and for the rest of your life. Robert. Amanda, please. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? I'm flattered. I'm really, really flattered. 